How's it? Today's Monday, July 31st, and I am coming off of a proper deload from last week. I lifted on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday's lifts were very, very minimal. I couldn't really deadlift, and I wasn't trying to deadlift. But I feel a lot better this week than I did last week, and that is a huge, huge positive. You see me doing some overhead squats there. Those didn't hurt as much. Oh, there's Koa, little doggy. But you see what I did here? I, I texted my coach, and he didn't really get back to me. So I figured today would be a great day to just start moving again. So today's goal was to get some amount of squatting in, but I wasn't sure what capacity I would do it. I wasn't sure if I was going to do overhead squats or front squats or back squats or something like that. But I decided I would do some complex with it. So I did a pause back squat with some snatch push presses, an overhead squat, and then a snatch balance. So generally speaking, from what I mentioned last week, anytime my lower back has any amount of flexion I have some pain but it's getting a lot better today it's been a lot better I think little by little um, I want to get back get back to where I used to be but it's it's like a I feel like there's noticeable differences moving forward you know I think one of the big things that I noticed a lot on Friday I don't know if I said it in the video, but when I get up out of chairs, when I get out of my car, when I bend it down to pick up stuff on the ground, it doesn't hurt nearly as much. And I'm trying my best to be have that positive lookout moving forward. And then if I am able to increase my load management or my load bearing and, and intensity, this is my, f my first set at weight, like 80 kilos. Like that this back squats feel really awesome and then these snatch push presses are, are like nothing overhead squat and the snatch balance are a little bit questionable just because I feel like I can't get good depth on everything but I do think that that's gonna come with time like tightness in my hips tightness in my my ankles and tightness in my lower back is is what is hampering me the most right now yeah, I still feel really quick under the bar, which is a good sign. As I was saying, if I can slowly increase week on week, I think I might be a better lifter after all of this. It's it's really hard to say, though. I don't know. It's like if I had proper mechanics all along, then I would have been a good lifter, a better lifter than I was. Because I... I ignored a lot of my imbalances and I mean I don't think that you'll ever be able to get rid of your imbalances but it's just like one of those things like yeah I got by with it I got by with lifting the way that I used to lift and maybe right now is not a good time to think about things like that you know maybe I have to think about being more precise and being more even um, I, I'm I'm definitely not even right now, but like side to side, left to right is what I'm referring to. But for me, it's like if I can get to being a pain free lifting, I will probably be better than I used to be, if that makes sense. Because I don't feel weaker, I just hurt sometimes. I hurt a lot of times. And I'm. I'm really eager to figure out um, tools and a plan to fix a lot of my issues. You know, every day I work towards it. I do my my McGill's Big Three, Stuart McGill's Big Three, and that's been helping tremendously, um, an insane amount. I feel like I have a lot more core. Like foundational strength and, and core coordination because I, I think my core in general is, is pretty strong but it's not where it should be and it's not where 
I would be if I was pain free, you know. So I'm looking to fix those things. I am also looking to regain the mobility I once had in my, my lower body. And my hips and my ankles. I used to be super mobile. But I don't know what's happened and I'm no longer that that person. Uh, here's my first set at 73. This is super, super light, so I'm, I'm happy that it, it was moving. Last week I did, for my D-load, I did doubles at 70. So I was like, alright, like I'm going to just go up one rep and then up three kilos. I, there's no need to rush for anything. I don't, I don't have anything planned soon. Not in the next four weeks at least, so. If I can get back to moving well enough to put good numbers out um, for the American Open then I'll do it that was the original plan but I obviously not being able to really like bend over not being able to walk last week was kind of scary so um, yeah what else is there to say I am going to be working on doing some piriformis stretching um, some seated good mornings I think those are going to help um, a lot with coordination I feel like the issue that I have now is not necessarily a weak core but more so a lot of my bending like bending at my hip where it should be a hip hinge is really happening through my lower back which is like the the big thing that a lot of people do like a lot of um, people like middle-aged people when they get injured is that then the lifting with their back you know that's what they say they use your legs don't use your back but really what it means is hinge at your hips and then bend your knees rather than curling at your lower back um well, that's a lot more specific and a lot harder to remember so i i don't expect people to remember that but finished off with some snatch pulls three triples at 93 which is three kilos more than last week and then did some pull-ups because i already did my core work um, to finish off. Today was pretty good. I have, you know, I have like a lot more positive outlook moving forward. I'm looking forward to squatting tomorrow, like tempo squats. So we'll see what happens. But um, thank you guys for your support. I saw those comments. It means a lot because I'm struggling right now. But thank you for the support. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.